Quebec tonight, the next stop on the road to victory for both the Yukon men and women is the Final Four. While the women get ready for tonight's matchup in Cleveland against the Iowa Hawkeyes, the men are in Phoenix ahead of their game against Alabama. And our team coverage continues right now. We've got it all covered. Channel 3's Mark <laughs> Robbins has the keys to victory for the men, but we do want to continue our coverage right now with Aaron, who is out in Phoenix. Aaron. Hey guys, good to see you. It is great here in Phoenix. A lot of people having a good time. All the fans are here though for one reason, and that's because of the games tomorrow. So for that, we want to go to Glendale. That's where Mark Robbins is. I know, Mark, they just had open practice, and you just were able to speak to some of the players. How are they feeling tonight? I think very confident in a word, Aaron. And uh, yeah, the, the Huskies just finished about 15, 20 minutes ago their public workout in front of four or 5,000 fans, getting up a lot of shots. The shooting background in a big football stadium like this can always uh, play with a shooter's mind if they're not right for it. But the pace of this game is what everybody is talking about. The fact that uh, Alabama is, uh, is able to run up and down the floor. That's what they love to do, averaging over 80 points a game. Huskies like to do that as well. And with the defense that UConn plays, they might just be able to turn it into an advantage for them on both ends of the floor. I mean, I'm excited for to, to, to be able to even play in the Final Four again. Um, you know, I mean, Alabama is a great team. They want to get up and down. Uh, we have to be ready to for, for their pace. Um, try to stop them early in transition uh, and just contest all shots and then play our game on the offensive end. Just, just doing the same thing. You know, we've we've kind of figured out, like, in a sense, what we want to do in terms of like the opponent, like the opponent, just in terms of how they're going to play us. I think we figured everybody out. So, just doing the same thing. Preparation stays in. Can you make them, you know, give them a dose of their own medicine, so to speak, and, and push them a bit? Yeah, definitely. We always try to run on other teams, too. If we get stops, we want to run in transition, too. So, you know, just because we're playing them doesn't mean we're going to play slower. We want to play at our pace, too. It was very interesting the way both teams came onto the floor today for their practices. Alabama came out loose as anything with a big boom box playing as they strutted onto the floor. The Huskies, a little bit more methodical, a little more business-like, single file jogging onto the floor here at the State Farm Stadium. We'll see uh, which style prevails in a national semifinal on Saturday night. Reporting live in Glendale, Arizona, I'm Mark Robbins, Channel 3. Aaron, back to you.